हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं जय फंशन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑल अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंट 4G बैंड्स इन इंडिया सो व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट 4G बैंड्स मींस इफ यू बाय एनी मोबाइल इन इंडिया और स्पेशली इफ यू इंपोर्ट एनी मोबाइल आउटसाइड फ्रॉम इंडिया सो व्हिच 4G बैंड्स यू शुड स्पेशली कंसीडर एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट आर द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीड in terms of coverage area we will discuss all so let's start it so there are three frequency band 850 megahertz frequency band 1800 megahertz and 2300 megahertz frequency band so we have to consider on these three frequency bands only the band 3 band 5 and band 40 it is also called as a band 3 band 5 and band 40 band 3 means we are talking about 1800 megahertz band band 5 it means we are talking about 850 megahertz frequency band and band 40 it means we are talking about 2300 megahertz frequency band so what are the actual differences between these frequency band if we talk in terms of speed suppose in terms of speed so 2300 megahertz greater than 1800 megahertz greater than 850 megahertz means the highest speed you will find in 2300 megahertz frequency band and so on similarly if you talk in terms about the coverage area so 850 megahertz greater than 1800 megahertz greater than 2300 megahertz so these all three frequency bands have been allotted to the different networks like airtel bsnl reliance jio vodafone and so on in india so all these networks have different different type of frequency band in different different states let's talk about our chatisgarh i am from chatisgarh so in madhya pradesh and chatisgarh all the three frequency bands have been acquired by reliance jio so the reliance jio has all three frequency band band 3 band 5 and band 40 similarly different different networks have different different frequency band in different states so the list of frequency band has been uploaded into the description below so you can also find in the description you can download the image and check which network has the different frequency bands now if you buy any mobile in india what happens so we know in terms of speed 2300 megahertz is bad and in terms of coverage area 850 megahertz is bad so can we shift manually between these frequency bands the answer is no the mobiles are programmed in such a way that you cannot shift or manually it's automatically shift between the different frequency band based on availability based on coverage area suppose inside you are inside at home so the 850 megahertz frequency band is a better so it will be shifted to 850 megahertz you are outside the home and if you are getting the better coverage and 2300 meter your mobile automatically cover that frequency band so you cannot although there are some procedure like uh, if you root your mobile and so on but i never prefer that so we will skip that talk so now we know in terms of speed we know in terms of coverage area suppose you buy any mobile in india for example i have a xiaomi redmi 3s prime it is specially launched in india with some modification that is consist all the three frequency band band 3 band 5 and band 40 so what happens uh, especially if i am talking about my home right in chatisgarh all the frequency band whenever i go into the raipur i get the full signal strength in 4g that is the best part my friend has a cool pet light what is the difference is the cool pet light doesn't have 850 megahertz frequency band so inside the home when i check the signal strength in both the mobile my mobile has a full signal strength but my friend's mobile has a very less signal strength why because inside the home 850 megahertz frequency bands are better because at lower frequency the penetration is high so inside the home the lower frequency bands are important and get the full coverage outside the band it's okay so if you buy any mobile especially in india it's okay i think minimum it would consider the 1800 megahertz frequency band because out of all the three among all three 1800 megahertz frequency band is very important why it is important because of 44% of the global lt market are deployed over the 1800 megahertz frequency band it's very important many factors are also there like you can take an example 
that 1800 megahertz frequency bands require 30% lesser number of towers with respect to 2300 megahertz frequency band. So it all depends on the network provider like Airtel, Reliance Geo. If you check the chart, you will see that the maximum frequency bands Reliance Geo has maximum number of frequency bands. So this is a good part for the Reliance Geo. Or if you buy any mobile from outside India, so what you should consider? You will consider the 4G bands. Which 4G bands are important? And you will see 850, 1800 and 2300. All these frequency bands must be employed on that mobile so that you can import outside from India. Suppose the latest Xiaomi mobiles are Xiaomi uh, Mi 5S is the latest one and Mi Note 2, Mi Max. Recently they have lost in China. If you want to import these mobiles, so check the frequency area, check the frequency bands and as far as my knowledge is there, MI Note 2 is a global IT band so all the frequency bands are supported so you can buy anytime. Similarly, MI 5S have all the three frequency bands, band 3, band 5 and band 40. So definitely all the networks will work because what happens actually, suppose Airtel has launched is LT in 2300 megahertz in most of the country, in most of the towns of India. So suppose if you don't have a 2300 megahertz frequency band, so it may create problem for you, it may create a signal strength also. You will not get the same signal strength each and every day. So now you know about the speed, you know about the coverage area. This is a very simple and sweet video where we only talk about the important things. We are not going into the detail of FDD, TDD and so on. So if you have any more doubt, you can put in the comment section below, I will try to answer. Must click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you really love this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.